Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. And today, this is going to be Norm McDonald tells the most convoluted joke on Conan O'Brien. And every time he goes on Conan O'Brien, he does something brilliant. So I haven't seen this joke, but I do know he does some really funny stuff on Conan. So without any delays, let's get to Norm McDonald tells a most convoluted joke. Here we go. When I was young, there was a fella uh, by went by the name of uh, Jacques de Gautier. <laughs> and he was from uh, Tamiskaming, Quebec. Think and I'm Jacques de Gautier, serious. he was a fella that really thought. And he was smart, you know. He was our hope, I guess. And he, uh, he was, uh, while I was scrabbling to get out of high school, <laughs> Jacques Zagatino had already... I think he just changed his last name. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a man grows. He, he, uh... <laughs> but this is the point. Yeah. Jacques Zagatino, he went to McGill University and he got three degrees, by golly. And he went uh, to the, over across the pond to the fellers with Cambridge and he even stood up to them. Mm -hmm. And we thought, boy, he's going to be the next. We had uh, Jean Marchand, Gérald Tertier, uh, Pierre Trudeau, the three wise men of Quebec. By God, Jacques de Gatineau was going to be the next. You give me the next gun. Yeah. But he vanished. And uh, I met him. Uh, I started to do stand up and, and travel from here to there and, and to here again. <laughs> And uh, one, uh, t one time I was in uh, Niagara Falls, and uh, by uh, gosh, I went over to the uh, uh, Sea World there. You know how they have the Sea World? You know, with the different fish. You know. The I didn't know that, but okay, yeah. yeah. Yes. Beluga. The Sea World, I've been sure. there many a time. Okay, so I was checking out the beluga whales and stuff, and I look over, and who do you think I see? I hope it's that guy. No, it was, uh, uh, it was just an attendant, but, uh, <laughs> but he showed me to the place I wanted to see, which is where they feed the, the little baby dolphins, because I love dolphins, you know? And uh, who do I see there but Jacques de Gatineau? <laughs> and here he is, he's feeding the baby dolphins. And I go up to him and I go, Jacques de Gatineau, I, I feel shame for you. You were our hope. You were to go to Canada, uh, uh, Canada's nation's capital of uh, Ottawa. <laughs> and you, you were to be a great man, Jacques de Gatineau. And we were all, uh, you know, we pinned our, all of, all of Temiskaming, Quebec, pinned our hopes on you. Now that's a, that's a hell of a burden for a man to have a town's hope pinned on them, isn't it, Conan? It is a lot, big burden. So he was feeding these baby uh, dolphins, you know, and I said, I'm ashamed of you, Jacques de Gatineau. You could have done so many great things. And he said, well, he said, I think I'm serving a youthful porpoise. Now, I believe that... Uh... <laughs> no! No! I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. You don't encourage that! Uh... It's like, that was a 40-minute story! It's like somebody... Youthful Poipus? <laughs> Youthful Poipus? Yes! Not Poipus. I don't know! Good God! I know, that was, that was way out of line. No, that was way out of <laughs> Who are like you to criticize saying, Oscar Pistorius? <laughs> it's like somebody saying, I gotta show you something. They took on a four-mile hike to show you a dog turd. <laughs> Look at it. Okay. Well, there's your oh, reel for oh, CBS. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we're getting this. Les Moonves. We're getting this right to Les Moonves. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta have him. You wanna see that every night, Les? <laughs> this guy's got to do it. More Quebecois humor. <laughs> I love you. I really uh, do. You know that, right? So, that was no McDonald's tells the most convoluted joke and it did describe perfectly and it is so like 
I don't know what to say about this man. This is so... He... I don't know what to say, man. I really got nothing. All I know is, whatever that was, it was funny. It was absolute funny. And I think I've heard very little bit of that joke in another clip. I'm not 100% aware, but I've heard it. Either I've already recorded it, but this is the full version of it. And it is funny as fuck. The whole thing, especially when he finished the joke, Conan and Andy both realized how convoluted that joke is. How it is, <laughs> and they're like, no, don't encourage it. This is so brilliant. Like, only he could do this shit, man. And, like, he could, only he, I don't know what to say, man. But I did enjoy it. I hope you did too. You did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.